But the other side of it is, is you can take and you can look and say, you know, what's actually happening on these calls on a real time basis? Did you offer an upsell? Did you offer a cross sell? Did you, um, you know, did you include this other piece of information that we want to track and prompt the agent to do it in a real time basis? So now without going through, a, um, you know, a, an offline training process, you can go and you can say the agent's going to get a screen pop on their screen in real time that says, have you done this? You haven't done this. Do this. We use technology for two things, to solve business problems and to scale process for a business. Um, a lot of times I have clients that haven't, that actually just don't know that there's a piece of technology that's available to solve a problem that they're having or that it's even a problem that they should solve. Here's an example of that that happened recently. It was in a discussion and um, this person operates a, a large portfolio of real estate and for them, inbound uh, phone calls are massively important. They spend a lot of time and energy on um, local advertising to um, generate leasing activity and for people to call in. And what this founder found was that um, their team that was answering these phone calls weren't necessarily offering upsells or answering questions or um, they weren't capturing as much revenue basically as, as they should be off these phone calls. And these calls are very expensive to generate and very valuable. <clears throat> so when somebody actually calls, they want to, they want to do something. They want to close them. They want to sell them, you know, their product, which is their floor space. And what this founder was doing was he and his partner were going through and listening to all the call recordings. They'd set their phone system to record calls, and they were listening to the recordings by hand, you know, manually themselves, and they were making notes, and they were using that for training with their team. Now, um, this is the right reaction, of course. Listen to phone calls, train your team. But this is a solved problem in technology, and it's solved in a couple of different ways. So we can solve the problem flat out by overlaying um, – an automated call recording and transcription service on top of a phone system. So now you have the ability to take and have a computer listen to every single phone call and transcribe it and create notation for you and look for key phrases or things that are absent or not. Is the agent talking more than the caller? Is the caller talking more? What's the intonation? Is the, uh, you know, is the call hostile? Um, is somebody frustrated? Did they offer upsell? Did they not? And now you have um, every single phone call as opposed to selective that you can see and score and scale with. And then you can take that and you can use that as a training mechanism. So this is still a, an after the fact. This is something that you're doing after the call has taken place. Well, you go from there into contact center technologies. And um, there are plenty of agent enablement opportunities within contact centers. So what I mean by this is... Um, in live real time, the contact center can be listening to the call and can prompt the agent to do certain things. So, you know, uh, think about it from a really basic standpoint. If you have a caller that calls in and says, I need help with some fill in the blank, right? So the contact center can take and use that and search for that real time in a knowledge base and prompt the agent with like, here's the documentation of what you need that this caller is asking for. So the agent doesn't have to be searching. You can give that information to the agent. Uh, much faster so the agent can handle and respond to the call much quicker, uh, high increased caller sas you know, satisfaction, obviously, and then more call handling. But the other side of it is, is you can take and you can look and say, you know, what's actually happening on these calls on a real-time basis? Did you offer an upsell? Did you offer a cross-sell? Did you, um, you know, did you include this other piece of information that we want to track and prompt the agent to do it in a real-time basis? So now without going through, a, um, you know, a, an offline training process, you can go and you can say the agent's going to get a screen pop on their screen in real time that says, have you done this? You haven't done this? Do this. Uh, in this case, for this this real estate operator, um, no, we don't have anything of what you're looking for in that size, but we have this other thing that we can offer you that's a similar size. It's a little bit more expensive. It's a little bit less expensive. It's not exactly what you called about, but it's close and we can still capture that revenue. Or we have another building a little bit down the road that has exactly what you're looking for and you should go, you should go do that instead. So again, um, there's a lot of stuff in technology that's, you know, that's, uh, there's a lot of business problems that are already solved in technology. Uh, and, and usually the trick is whether or not you've identified what the business problem is that you actually have and what then the solve is for that in technology and what the right acronym and right, what the right technique is to do it. And that's something that we get to do for our clients. And, and every time we do it, it's, it's a great feeling. <laughs>